Welcome to GSmart Tech Point. So in this lab, we'll look at how to create a starter GPU. So you want to read the requirements. So enable administrative template central store by creating a starter GPU folder. Straight away, we go to our server manager, go to tools. We click and go to the group policy management. And on the forest of copnet local expand and go to domains copnet then we go to the starter gpo starter gpos So when you click on the starter GPU, they'll show you an option. You when you right click, you have an option to create a new starter GPU. So we just check the name of the required starter GPU. I will just copy it and paste. You can type it all out. And that's it. We've created a starter GPU, the DNS settings. And now the next requirement, they say configure the DNS setting policies. Uh, so we have to go to the policies and enable it. The state should be enabled. And they have given us IP an IP address to use, which you're going to do that. So you would want to right click on the DNS settings GPO and go to settings. Administrative templates. You got to. I think we have to go to network. Let's see. Network. Your next client. Okay. I think we got that right. Let's expand the window. Okay. So we go to DNS servers. That's what we have to configure. We edit, we enable it. And you may like to type out the IP address, but I'll just copy it and paste. So the instruction says we should separate the two IP addresses with a space. So I'll type out the next one. And I think we're good. Click OK. Primary DNS suffix. We enable it also. And the DNS suffix, we use copnet.local. So I will just copy it and paste. Or if you want, you can type it also. We type it. Let's see. Let's type it. think we are good with that also. You click OK. The next one is register PTR records. I have to enable it. And options register. I think that one is quite easy. You're good. Dynamic update. I think with dynamic update, all we have to do is enable it. And 
and we enable and that is it okay the next is turn off smart multi-home resolution we enable it and click ok I think we are good so the next task says create a new GPU named common GPU using the new starter GPU that you created. Do not link the GPU at this time. So we go back, we navigate to the new starter GPU we created. And from the new starter GPU, you right click and go now to create a new GPU, which is what we are doing. I just copy and paste. Okay. And I think we are good. I think we are good for this lab. Just check the answers. So guys, that's how to create a new starter GPU. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.